Let's create a blog from scratch with Quarto and then publish it out to the web. So inside our studio, I'm going to create a new project, new directory, new Quarto blog. We'll create that new session, let it switch over to the new environment. And now we're going to test building it locally. Quarto has gone ahead and created a bunch of different files. Uh, they create the Quarto blog and all the different kind of hello world examples. We can see those locally just by checking on the build tab and click render website and that will build the blog. We can see that we have a functioning blog post with code as well as things like an about me page. So I have this locally, but I can also say I want to publish this to the web inside our studio. I can go down to the console pane. I'm going to click over on the terminal or the command line interface and do Quarto publish. This is going to provide me with a few options. You can publish to Quarto Pub, which is a free service that we provide. I'm going to do that because I already have it set up. It's going to ask which account do you want to use? I already have an account on here, but if you don't have an account, it'll ask you to sign up. I'll click enter and it's going to publish that to Quarto Pub with a specific name. In this case, test blog two. I'll click enter and it's going to use all that information and put it out on the web. So while it does all this, it's going to build all the web uh, site again, all the blog posts and everything together re-render all those different components and then ship it out to the web. In the span of this little speed run, we can go from no blog to new blog to blog on the internet and go and look at it. And now we have a blog post that we can share and a blog to share with the world. To learn more about using Quarto as a computational notebook for technical or scientific communication, please check out the resources at Quarto.org. Thanks.